The numbers do look frightening. The question is, what happens next? How will those without jobs pay their bills? How will they feed their families? Governments around the world have stepped in. They have announced financial packages, pumped in significant portion of the GDP into the system, from direct cash payments to assisting corporations, from tax breaks to loan guarantees. Governments are doing all they can to cushion the impact of the Wuhan virus. India, for instance, spending 20 lakh crore rupees, roughly 10% of the Indian GDP. Japan has announced a stimulus package of $1.1 trillion. The United States has a relief package of $2 trillion. Australian stimulus stands at $189 billion. Germany, $815 billion. And these are just to name a few. How is this money going to be spent? And how will it help people without jobs? Many countries are giving direct cash payments, which means money is being transferred directly into the bank accounts of people. Canada, the United States, Hong Kong, Japan, Thailand are among those doing this. In Canada, for example, the government is crediting 2,000 Canadian dollars, 2,000 Canadian dollars for four months into the accounts of all those people who've lost their job. In the United States, people filing for unemployment will get a one-time payment of $1,200. The federal governments in America, meaning the states, have also increased unemployment benefits. In India, the informal sectors have taken the hardest punch of the pandemic. Migrant workers, to be more specific. The Modi government is spending 1,000 crore rupees on them. The money is being used to provide food, accommodation, treatment and transportation. Governments around the world, in fact, are also helping corporations. The idea is to keep companies from laying off employees. The United States has a $500 billion fund to bail out failing corporates. In France, it's a fund of 20 billion euros. The United Kingdom has a rather interesting scheme. If corporates keep employees on their payroll, then the government of the UK covers 80% of their salaries, which means companies will only have to pay 20% of the salary bill. Denmark has a similar scheme. The government is covering 75% of employee salaries. How is India helping its corporates? India has reduced taxes, TDS and TCS, by 25%. TDS is tax deducted at source, TCS tax collected at source. The move is expected to release around 50,000 crore rupees in the hands of the people. These are all short-term schemes. In the long run, governments will have to create jobs. The stimulus is not going to be enough for anyone. The Becker Friedman Institute of of the University of Chicago conducted a study, and this is what they found. First, the Wuhan virus has triggered the fastest reallocation of labor since the Second World War. And second, and this is what is scary, it says 42% of the recent layoffs will result in permanent job losses, 42%. The study is US specific, but I do not see why it should not be relevant for other countries too. The number may not be as high as 42%, but the message remains the same. Some of the layoffs will be permanent, which means governments will have to identify sectors that will do well post the pandemic, say e-commerce or 3D printing, and jobs will have to be created in these sectors.